Into the Jaws of Hell and a Visit from the Devil. Guess what went into the Jaws of Hell prior to the ordination of new traditional Catholic priests in Italy on July 2nd, 2020? Just guess. Into the Jaws of Hell in June 2020, during the month dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, prior to the July 2nd ordination of new traditional Catholic priests, during the month of the precious blood of Jesus, our Divine Redeemer, Divine Restorer, Divine Remedy for All, and the Divine Bridegroom of every soul. While contentedly working in the kitchen cooking in late June 2020, there suddenly was an incredible offering, and it was incredible because of the unusual way it was offered. There was an offering of self, a lifetime of reparative atonement made through the years, as Almighty God willed, in imitation of and in union with Christ crucified on Mount Calvary. All the reparation made was suddenly fed right into the jaws of hell. Imagine! There is no room for sin in one's life when one's heart is occupied by Christ the Divine Bridegroom. A heart occupied by Christ is a very happy heart indeed. A surprising other occurrence during the Luciferian endemic of 2020. Once the Luciferian endemic lockdowns and mental torture, including social isolation, social distancing, and speaking with forked tongues began in earnest against the populations of the world in 2020, there was an unprecedented term of peace for this student teacher representative of I Am's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus in modern times, through Christ's traditional Catholic sacred priesthood, for the sake of a world in very serious grave peril. The forces of darkness have by the divine hand been kept at bay at this pivotal time in human history, following a lifetime of their severe punishment and harassment. The demons know full well what Almighty God's work of reparation to the three-in-one devotion to the holy face of Jesus is, to his sacred heart, divine mercy, and holy face, and they know what it means to precious, priceless, and immortal souls. From the powerful booklet, Mary Crushes the Serpent, the demons maintain that the sins of men give them power over men. They say that God permits demons to keep what they have won through the misdirected will of man and only the free will of man can take from them what the free will of man has given them. Through the willful suffering of victim souls, the demons are deprived of that which men have given them through sin. This work takes on the mission also through unyielding alliance with the most perfect will of God at all times, of exorcisms that should take place but don't because of the lack of attention this vital priestly ministry receives in modern times. The demons take exception to the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus because of its efficaciousness, and their revenge is physical, mental, and spiritual torture directed at victim souls being led by Our Lady. The battle between the forces of good and evil is more than a chess match. It is for chosen souls a lifetime of hand-to-hand -hand combat on a battlefield very few see. An unwelcome visit from the devil and what happened during it. This used to be a regular occurrence before I Am reintroduced his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus in 2012 at the traditional leaning Slovak parish in Catholic Detroit during the great seven-year war for souls there from 2010 to 2017. The traditional Catholics accomplishing God's will while worshiping, serving, and adoring God alone, inside and outside of his Catholic churches, resisted with all of God's might the destructive by design, communist self-interest, money-loving, false teaching, and funtertaining distractions relentlessly being self-promoted by modernist Luciferians, self-identifying as Catholics who worship themselves and ultimately the devil. The physical assaults at night 
have lessened in the past decade and became even more rare since worshiping God in exclusively traditional Catholic churches. The Society of St. Pius X and the Institute of Christ the King Sovereign Priest Modernism is the demon's way in to Christ's Catholic churches and also their way into the homes and the hearts of God's people. I am's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus drives them out. It had been a while since there had been one of the devil's very painful physical assaults overnight, but one took place recently, disturbing the peace after the incredible offering of reparation to the holy face of Jesus right into the jaws of hell was made. That stunning, truly charitable return of the spending of the self unified as one with Christ crucified, as I am willed, following a lifetime of being assaulted by unfathomable evil, came shortly before the ordination of new traditional Catholic priests in 2020 during this incredible year of accelerated, diabolical assaults against the human person. As in the past, the devil himself appeared as someone very loved by the student teacher, this time as her young adult daughter. And then the assault took place in the manner in which only the devil himself can accomplish. After hating your happiness at seeing your daughter in the vision, he went right for that long-suffering right side and inflicted unfathomably agonizing pain that came from the hand of the fallen angel of light. Using his hand as a weapon, he entered into that right side, which has made so much reparation for Christ's Catholic priests as needed in modern times, for the sake of a world in very serious grave peril, and he did so as if it was some kind of knife. This was, with his own unholy and disobedient hand, a spiting of the sacred lance wound in Christ's side, through which his precious blood and water flowed during our redemption on Mount Calvary, for the sake of the whole world. In this manner he also spites the consecrated hands of Christ's traditional Catholic priests, through which so much good is accomplished, because Christ comes to us through them. The pain he inflicts is experienced in the natural and in the supernatural, and it is pain set apart from anything that is experienced in the natural. This is a manifestation of Christ's physical suffering during his sacred passion and execution by crucifixion for our redemption, while taking on the sins of the whole world and making reparation to Almighty God for them. Imagine how much punishment the forces of darkness inflicted on Jesus on that first Good Friday, keeping in mind that this punishment continues by those working for the wrong master right inside of Christ's Catholic churches at his modernist, desecrated, inverted altars. In our triune God we totally trust, through the maternal intercession of the Immaculate Mother of God and the paternal intercession of Holy Husband and Foster Father St. Joseph, St. Francis de Sales, St. John Bosco, St. Therese of the Infant Jesus and Holy Face, Ora Pro Nobis, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Trust all things to Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are, St. John Bosco. To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to the Holy Face of Jesus, your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given Holy Apostolate of Reparation, spiritual combat training, devotion for the dying, divine justice for every soul, how to prepare for a holy death, for prayers for the holy souls in purgatory, and for more traditional Catholic faith formation throughout the lifespan visit www.theworkofreparationtotheholyfaceofjesus.com Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and draw down mercy on sinners. And he still means it.